Hey everyone, it's Skylar. I'm gonna try to narrate over myself picking a few locks here. So, light tension applied. I'm gonna get in here with the DeForest. Now, immediately I'm gonna just sort of test pin to pin to pin. Don't feel much from the front. As soon as I get to the back, though, I'll feel pin set, and now I move back to the front, and that quick movement was me testing to see if the front was still springing. It was. So I went right to the back again, felt some pins set, now I'm going to start moving up toward the front of the lock. There's the third pin, here's the second pin, and there's the first pin, and that's it. That's single pin picking with a DeForest. Next up, I'm going to use two tools, classic speed picking strategy. I'm going to get in there with a half diamond first, try to set a few pins just by dropping that diamond to the back of the lock, pulling it back out again, and then finishing off any remaining pins with a DeForest. Here the diamond is going in, I'm literally just pushing all the way to the back of the lock, pulling back out. There's a lot that has set. Now I'm going back in with the DeForest. Now I'm not watching the side of these as I pick, so I am going to go through and test from the back, coming forward, testing, testing, still testing that fourth one, I'm not confident about it. And now the third is the last one to set, classic speed picking strategy. Here we have two spool pins, spool pin in the second chamber and in the fourth chamber. Now picking spool pins, your other pins will set first. <coughs> I believe in this one the third pin is going to be the first one to set, and then the first pin will set just on the shaft of the pick, actually. There's the first pin, and as I'm coming back to the first, I accidentally set it with the shaft of the pick, which happens sometimes. Alright, now I'm working in the second chamber. As I push up on that spool, you can see my fing the fingers of my left hand are rotating back. I'm lightening my tension and pushing ever upward. Bam. And that is overset. Now hopefully as I pick, that's going to release itself. As I push up on the fourth spool, there it is. The second one releases. Fourth one set. And that's it. <coughs> Alright, now this is a serrated pin. My apologies, I didn't allow this to fully reset. Like I said, I'm not watching these while I pick. So, the first chamber is already set, but it won't really matter for the purposes of this demonstration. There, right there, in the fourth chamber, you can already see a separation between the key pin and the driver pin. That is the false set on a serrated pin, and it's very difficult to detect. So, once that second pin is set, there you go. Everything else in the lock is set now, and I'm going to come back in and go after that serrated pin. I'm going in with my half diamond. The half diamond, in this case, I'm going to pass it around behind the pin and pull straight back. That second pin reset. There you go. One, two. Pulling straight back and then I'm just going to keep moving that half diamond through the lock and that second pin will set. <clears throat> Alright, I know that that all went pretty quick. Watch it a second time if you need to, but I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching.